Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Melanie and Gemini, Mystic Tarot, back at you again. Welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome back, welcome back to my returning. If you hear any music or anything in the background, that is, I don't own any rights to anything in the background. And it's my daughter watching TV, making it all make sense. Um, welcome, welcome again. Uh, if you haven't yet, today is the last day to become a member to get the free giveaway to be in the drawing. I'm drawing four names, not one, four. Um, let's get into the message. I want to make sure I got everybody going. Get this stuff going. Okay. Let's get into the energy. Let's put the message in front of the message because remember, there's over... 5,000 people here or more in a monthly basis it's over I'm getting like 50 60,000 people or more making it all make sense let's see what needs to be said I hope y'all having a good Saturday I'm getting people are getting paperwork done getting everything they need to file these taxes by this weekend coming so let's see what needs to be said someone's dealing with abuse what else spirit what else is Gemini is dealing with or someone you know is dealing with abuse someone is in a, a product of their environment someone is dealing with abuse or someone is dealing with even if it's not physically, it can be mental abuse or someone that's a narcissist. They're only a product of their environment or the person that, or the people that raised them or the people they were around. This person's always defensive. Someone needs to make their own boundaries, especially dealing with abuse. Because it only gets worse when it starts. Making it all make sense. A person will make you feel like it's your fault but it ain't it's just them trying to mirror how they feel or reflecting off of them being a product of their environment growing up making it all make sense listen to everyone else this person is listening to everyone else they're a product of their environment because when they were growing up people would listen to everybody else and there always be some type of tower moment behind that working towards better so Gemini's I'm getting like you're working towards better even though you have defensive people around you or maybe you are defensive but you're working towards better something is circling around maybe some type of abusive person is circling around back to you again they want to rebuild with you again after they listen to somebody else they want to rebuild with you again and this could be a Taurus and it says setup. So making it all make sense, y'all. Some about a setup. While you working towards better, this Taurus is trying to set you up. I'm just saying this was coming out. I'm getting they think you are weak. So whoever this person is that was doing it mentally, physically, emotionally abusing you, this person thought that you was weak. Could have been a woman. Could have been a male. Maybe you fought this person. Maybe this person was so defensive about the truth that they became defensive and y'all got into a fight. Making it all make sense never liked you anyway. So this defensive person never liked you anyway. This is the message in front of the message, y'all. <clears throat> You're making your own boundaries. Like, are you setting stronger or stern boundaries due to the vulnerability that this person put you in because they thought that you was weak? They thought because they created this energy of abuse that you was going to be vulnerable and weak and fall for it. And you, you show sure got strengthened up and you moved accordingly. Making it all make sense. Independent. This person that's independent is listening to everyone else. Mm. That's probably what got somebody into a fight. Or something about being dependent 
or being able to take care of yourself or someone probably said something about you not being able to take care of yourself and stuff like that making it all make sense um it's going to take time and patience um towards working towards better i'm getting these people that you moving forward from they never liked you like that no way they were they could have been in july and they could have been a cancer i'm getting you got this in the bag something was cir something circled around it could have been a relationship it could have been paperwork but you got this in the bag i'm getting eight or an infinity signal sign plan you're you're you have a plan to build back, and I'm getting you're having a plan to build back better in a situation after things went left last year, after somebody jumped to conclusions, somebody jumped the gun, someone got lost in the sauce. That was the message in front of the message. I am going to get into this new deck I bought. I am waiting on another deck, and they're quite cheap, and I love that. That's one thing I like about a deck. If I can get the real thing and it's at a cheap price, I'll get it. Or if I'm trying to get a pocket version or something like that, making it all make sense. Let me get this going. Put these over here. Let's see what's going on in the ethers. This is the emotional, the true emotional oracle deck so we're gonna see what's going on we're gonna see what need to be said let's see let's see what need to be said thank you god spirit guides archangels and the ancestors of the highest white light tell me what's going on with Gemini's. somebody getting bad news sorry y'all know i have to give the message bottom of the deck Someone's ashamed, someone's guilty, embarrassed, and someone knows that they're in the wrong. That's at the bottom. So somebody's getting some bad news. Maybe someone knew they were in the wrong for something that they did. And now karma is being rendered. Somebody did something to you, Gemini's, Divine Feminine. You are secure, confident, boss bitch career focus and these people were trying to do things to stop you from elevating i'm getting somebody is getting some bad news about a separation and someone's reflecting someone's soul searching someone's trying to go within or do introspection to figure out how they can change a situation or change the circumstance of something Someone saying they miss you. So someone gave you bad news or someone separated from you. Or maybe you miss this person or they miss you. But this person is ashamed of what they did. Because they don't have you anymore. You separated from them. Maybe someone got uh, reckless with you, Gemini's. You separated from this person. You had too much going on in your life. You got businesses you trying to open. You got kids you trying to raise. You got jobs you trying to go to. I mean, and if they trying to come in between how you moving, you're going to separate from it, especially when you going down a spiral path, making it all make sense. Living in the moment. So maybe somebody is living in the moment. Somebody was living in the moment and still is living in the moment. And it seems like they're not going to stop the addiction or whatever they have going on. Somebody is getting readings on you, Gemini's. Somebody's ashamed of what they're doing. They miss you. They're trying to get readings on you. They're trying to figure out, you know, how they can get back in. I'm getting getting back into your love, babe. Barry White. Someone's trying to send a love message after they was reckless. Someone decided that they were going to put you in an emotional conf you know, conflict of figuring out, do you want to be with them or start all over? But I feel like you're ending the relationship to go within, to focus on yourself so that you can just know yourself better because whatever's going on, everybody had a part, but they knew they were wrong. And I'm getting, they weren't even being honest with people when they were telling people about their relationship status or their status in general. 
You moving on, letting go. It's right here. Y'all moving on, letting go from this situation. You're not playing with it at all. You got fed up. Like I said, you got fed up with that situation. You're not playing with them. You, It's like it's over and over again. You constantly keep forgiving them. Constantly with Jezebels. Constantly. Like, it's just a constant thing. And it's crazy. And they think they some thug, but they really not. Or they like some type, or they the type that's, that's you letting go of someone that's a thug. Or act like they a thug, but they always getting arrested. House always getting broken into by the police, by the narcs. Somebody wishes that you won't get fed up with them. Somebody wishes that you'll come back into their life. Somebody wishes that you... Um, I'm getting this person wishes that you... Just would just forgive them and, and, and that's it. That's it. Like, they just gonna keep doing what they wanna do. This person wanna come in and sweet talk you. But then this person around here doing the same thing they doing with you with a Jezebel. And they got more than one. People tired. I'm getting someone tired. I'm, I constantly kept hearing it yesterday on video. I'm tired of having to go to the doctor behind you. I'm hearing it illumination so something is being illuminated the truth about someone that got arrested as well after you moved and let go of a situation with someone this person started getting all their karma because your feet had to move in order for there to be something this person wished they could have trapped you somebody is fed up really fed up i'm really getting that and they left that situation all these jezebels somebody want to trap somebody a jezebel want to trap somebody so that they can forever be intertwined with they ass who y'all people in their feelings y'all people in their feelings because they thought that you was gonna get trapped and you didn't they thought that you was crazy a lot of things that you said came to pass and if it has not it is gonna come to pass and it's the fact that these people think that they 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 god they the universe and they're not you was bumping heads with this person because of this person was living in the moment and wasn't thinking about your feelings but they boy motherfucker break down they see that you even went on a date with anybody even after oh my god it's over life is over it's over no it's not but when you was doing it i'm just saying it's love spell someone's ashamed of what they did someone getting readings y'all and someone's getting someone to try to do love spells or try to get you to come back in it's not going to work you too strong for it they're not telling these people everything the person okay they went to this reader or whatever but they're not telling this person that you're a reader they're not telling this person that you're a chosen they're not telling this person nothing and being that they're not telling this person nothing they're getting the back end they're getting the karma even the reader is getting the karma because like they're not they're not telling the complete honest truth to people that's making everybody be in tower moments round and round cycles triggers and lessons someone is learning their lessons due to constantly keep doing things over and over again you are their lesson you are meant to walk off move forward on with your life so you can get that person that wants to be part of your life who wants to um <clears throat> invest in you like you invest in them it seems like a lot of people are wanting you to invest but there's no investment when it comes on their part neither like neither do they want to invest give you time neither they neither either or they just wasting time losing sleep person losing sleep now after you were losing sleep this person is worried replaying shit in their head events y'all my ear just went my right ear ringing this person is losing sleep worried replaying events thinking about you in their head wishing they would have could have would have should have would have could have changed the situation this person knows that you spiritual they tried to put you in a trap gemini they tried to put a spiritual person in a, in a trap someone i'm getting has some type of spiritual ego death someone is withdrawn 
or someone's having a spiritual awakening or the person that you stop talking to is having a spiritual awakening and that's what they needed you to separate from them so they can have one someone acting like they fake busy somebody in their feelings acting like they fake busy someone tried to sweet talk somebody so maybe gemini says you acting like you fake busy like you got stuff you doing karmic ties this is someone that you have karmic ties with making it all make sense y'all that was one message right there y'all let's get into some more let's see what else going on this is karmic someone that wants to keep some type of karmic tie with you but you're not having it you're not doing it it's not it's not going to happen. And I see that for myself. That someone thinks that they're going to come back in, smooth talk you, and everything will be okay. And it's not. <laughs> I'm just being honest, y'all. I'm trying to figure out what deck I'm going to use. Let's see. Let's get this doodle. I got a, a hand. Because you know the doodle tarot deck is bigger than this. I want to get the bigger one. And then once I start getting newer cards, I'll start giving away older cards. Even though the ones that I am giving away are new decks. And they, they still got the plastic and everything on it. So making it all make sense. First two cards popped out. Two of Wands. Seven of Cups. Maybe this is talking to someone... Or your June 2nd, June 7th, June 9th. Or you're dealing with either a Cancer, a, um, Aquarius, a Leo, a Capricorn. Someone's planning for the future. Or someone's planning. Someone's traveling. Or someone's planning on traveling. Someone has decisions they have to make. There's opportunities coming, y'all. Someone's planning towards their future because someone knows and feels opportunities, y'all. I'm getting something about the Queen of Cups. Maybe I'm talking to a caring person. Emotionally mature. Empathetic and loving. This is being given to you. I'm getting maybe a passed over ancestor or people... Part of your spiritual team is helping you win. Maybe someone's birthday is on June 1st. Maybe someone is going to win something, get something. Some, yep, someone's um, preparing to go on a trip or, or planning for an adventure. Opportunities is coming. Maybe someone's birthday is on the 3rd or the 5th. Or the 10th. I'm getting Gemini. Somebody portrayed you. Maybe this water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Especially a Cancer. I see crabs in here. One, two, three, four, five. It was probably six people. Or six different people. Or six people working together. Maybe their birthday's October 4th. October 3rd. October 7th. October 2nd. Something probably happened around Halloween last year. Gemini's, you're skeptical or you're skeptical about this person and you should be. This person ain't never happy. While you around here preparing the future for yourself, this person ain't never happy. This person tried to create some type of betrayal. Someone probably hit rock bottom. Someone feels some type of utter defeat after you're preparing for your future. You got the Wheel of Fortune. Ten. Maybe someone's been seeing ten, ten. Endings for new beginnings. Changes. This is destined to happen. There's a turning point and good luck in a situation because you're planning for your future. You're working on yourself. You see how you work on yourself, even though it feels hard at first, then, oh, I can't do it. But then when working or helping someone work for themselves, it seems easier. But I feel like at the end of the day, you working yourself is putting you in a situation of good wealth, good health, good energy. Whoever this is you was dealing with, one never happy. So that's why they're dealing with all this loss. Like I say, a fire sign, Leo, Taurus. 
there's some hope after defeat I'm getting as well. Maybe someone's birthday is on the 17th or the 10th, like I said, or the 13th or the 15th. You're manifesting. Someone that was trying to manifest something with you and they just took all of it, took all the rations. They're not getting anything. But you, Gemini's, you have Wheel of Fortune. Maybe your birthday is May 27th or May 28th. Something about willpower, not dealing with someone that thought they were going to do whatever they were going to do. A water sign, the first, of, the first of any month. Maybe someone's 41. Maybe someone is 27. Maybe someone has a 13-year-old, 14-year-old, 17-year-old. I'm getting something about 13, 14, 17, or 9. Someone's holding back or somebody was holding back. Somebody was being reckless that came out in the last. Somebody was being gullible. Don't get me wrong, this person thought you were but gullible. And distracted you. Someone held back from you. Thought that you was gullible. Distracted you and was being reckless with whatever they was doing. Mm. Ooh, y'all. What the fuck going on here? Could have been a Virgo, Capricorn, and or Taurus as well. Maybe somebody was born in 1970, 1974, 1971, 72, 73. <clears throat> I'm getting Virgo starting to pop out now. So, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Maybe someone is letting go of somebody. I'm getting to this person that you were around is overspending, trying to keep up with the life that they see on social media. Or this person sees your life, Gemini's, and is trying to keep up. Or maybe someone's trying to work real hard and do whatever they got to do because maybe this person was trying to get a place before you got a place and you got your place before they got it. And it seems like this person has been, you know, trying to compete with you. Like, always, it's always like since they met you, they've been trying to compete with you. Or it could be someone in your family. It could be a friend. It could be someone trying to compete with you only because. Naomi, do me a favor. Can you, um... Get that um, bacon, take it out, and put it on that, that, that cookie sheet so I can put it in the oven. Seven of Swords, betrayal. Someone, y'all, I'm not going to play with this. Somebody tried to cause a betrayal. They tried to take something from you, scam you. They saw you as a benefit, but they tried to make you sit. It try, they tried to make it seem like they was in love with you, but they just saw the benefit of being in love with you. Let's make it all make sense. Page of Swords. I'm getting... You had diligence. This person... You had diligence in the relationship, but it seemed like they talked too much. I'm getting that you kept talking to this person about how you felt. Now I'm going to get some Pam and put it on the bottom of that. Pam. I bought some. Pam. If ain't enough in there, then go open up that other one. What else, Spirit, for the collective? That's not here. That's Pam. I said Pam. Uh. Tower moment. This person's having a tower moment right now. It's some type of fast news coming in. It's some type of news. Queen of Swords. I'm getting to... Now I'm done do that. I'm getting to Gemini's. You looked at a, a situation from a different perspective. You left it before a tower moment came. Mm. 
Making it all make sense. Thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all shares, and y'all subscribes. Members only, I will give you your own personal reading. This is just a reading for YouTube. Until the next one, y'all. Peace, love, prosperity, and protection. Remember, today is the last day for you to be members only. Members only are the only ones who can get readings, free gifts. Don't have to worry about shipping. None of that. You know, I pop up, do free stuff here and there, here and there. Free readings here and there, here and there. I was on yesterday. You just got to be there when it's time for it. Until the next one, y'all. Peace, love, prosperity, and protection.